Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. That's going to be my daily forecast for March 2nd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us on our Patreon where you can gain access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly today. So we did fall and it was basically expected when we got up towards 60,000 that we were going to take a massive fall. However, there is quite a lot of support down here. So people are basically waiting for this fall. They're selling into it and they are basically starting buying it when it reaches just at the 50 minute average. So we, it looks like we have hit bottom at this point. Technical indicators, they are turning around. It looks very similar to this move. So Bitcoin is at this moment in a major uptrend and it is finding major support every single time it gets towards the 50 moving average. We just see all of this line here, the 40, uh, 20 exponential and the 50 have offered major support. And that is a very encouraging sign for this uh, cryptocurrency that it may continue higher, even though it has these major falls, it is not falling apart like it did back in 2017. So it is falling back towards support and then rallying, even though these rallies are ridiculous and these falls are also ridiculous. It is just the nature of this um, instrument that there is just the supply and demand that is controlling this and it can fluctuate um, significantly uh, both to the upside and to the downside. So 50 is holding. We are trading above the 20 exponential. We are still uh, we're still here. If we get another green candlestick above the 20 exponential, that could open the door to these previous highs at uh, 57,972. So let's look at Ethereum. So this cryptocurrency has been absolutely battered in the last few trading days. Just see the weekend and last week it fell from a high of 2022 all the way down to 1288. A massive fall, almost lost half of its value in only two weeks. So that resembles what happened back in 2017. However, we found support right around 1200, 1300 area. Technical at this point are turning around. However, we are still trading underneath the 50 moving average and the 20 exponential moving average. 50 is, um, as, um, is resistant at the moment and the 20 will also be resistant. So until we basically break above the 50 and the 20, we're not heading towards the 2000 anytime soon. However, these same indicators are turning around, so we may cross these to moving average within the next few days. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano is uh, probably one of the most um, favorable cryptocurrency out there at the moment. Um, there is massive warning signs for this because if you look at the weekly chart, this is what it looks like. We are trading at 89 in the RSI. Uh, we were at uh, 95 when we were up here at 1.45. Uh, you can just see right here, we're at 94 in the RSI. And that's basically the level where most cryptocurrencies fall apart. However, we did fall and then it fell again today. But at this point, it should be expected to fall even further. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement for the long run for this, then it could fall all the way down to the first Fibonacci retracement. It is at 0 0.91, or I would expect a major support here at, um, at $1. If you look at the daily chart, you can probably see that the 20 exponential moving average is right here at $1, and it has offered support for uh, the last, uh, basically, all the way back here in, in the beginning of 2021. So pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that should be um, support because it has basically been for the last uh, two months. Okay, two months all the way back here. So for quite, quite a long time, if I say like that. So let's look at Litecoin. So we also fell apart here. We went all the way up towards uh, 242 
and then we dropped all the way down to the 50 moving average. Very similar to basically what happened here. We have not seen this rally up towards the half of this uh, of this rally here. So we're basically down at this stage. We could expect this to rally up towards half. That would be around the $200 before breaking back down to the 50 moving average and then go back to these very highs. So because the 50 moving average is holding at this point, that is a very encouraging sign. I usually... Uh, gathers momentum you can see that the technical indicators are turning around uh, stochastic now the macd is the histogram is becoming green here which means that we are going to turn around here and cross the signal line and when we do that this will basically take off 20 exponential will um, will act as resistant but the 50 is holding here and is support so at this moment yes it is more likely that we are going to rally to the upside or break down from here. If we were to break down, 150 would offer uh, support. So would these previous lows at 120 and the 200 moving average all the way down here at $100. Uh, if Bitcoin falls apart, yen, yeah, probably will go to that level. But at the moment, 50 moving average is holding. So let's look at NEO. Also here, this was uh, absolute uh, slaughter for this uh, cryptocurrency. We went from 54 all the way down to $31. It lost nearly half of its value in only, um, well, two days. So yes, it is extremely volatile. We're finding support here at the 50 moving average. We're trading at the 37 at this current stage. The 20 exponential is offering resistance. A break above that, well, that basically um, opens the door back to 50 and to these previous highs. Technically, in the they are turning around. So if we manage to break above the 20 exponential, then it's very likely that we'll head up towards 50. Otherwise, we could stay here for a while, also test the 50 moving average again before going to the upside. If the 50 breaks, then that opens the door to the 200 moving average all the way down here at $20. So let's look at Trump. So you can see here, we also lost half of the value from 0 0.06 all the way down to 0 0.03 in only four trading days. We rallied then up towards the 20. 20 is offering resistance here at roughly 0 0.0471. Technically, the gears, they are either flat or are turning around. So a break above the 20 exponential, that opens the door back towards 0 0.05 and then 0 0.06. So this is one of the more uh, cheaper cryptocurrencies. It has rallied to it is all the highs here, but still we have we are in uptrend. We just got way ahead of ourselves, and usually when this happens, you fall as well. But the twenty exponential as well in the 20 weekly chart is also holding for this cryptocurrency. So yes, but a break above the 20 exponential here, that should open the door to these previous highs again. Otherwise, break below the 50, that opens the door to 0 0.03. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.